Hello students, having seen air pollution, now let us look into water pollution. So water pollution is the contamination of water bodies, that is lakes, rivers, oceans, aquifers and groundwater. So the pollution can happen in either groundwater, aquifers, oceans, rivers or even lakes. So water pollution occurs when pollutants are directly or indirectly discharged into water bodies without adequate treatment to remove harmful compounds. I can give a simple example. Now we are house we are using all using uh, detergents and soaps for cleaning clothes. But are we uh, treating that water? No, that we are putting that water directly in the drain. Similarly, some industries to save money, whatever other uh, chemicals they are using, they are straight away discharging it into the water bodies. They are not bothered about treatment because the treatment will cost money. Na? If they want to neutralize uh, the pH, then uh, if they want to kill the microorganisms, it will cost money. So why to waste money? They are straight away dumping it in the water bodies, in the rivers. I think you are read in newspapers also in Bangalore, so many fishes are, are dying in lakes, ponds and all, because of this pollution effect. So what are the causes of air poll water pollution? There are several causes of uh, common water pollution. These are disease causing agents. Like disease causing agents are known as pathogens, which include bacteria, virus, protozoa and parasitic worms that enter water from domestic sewage and untreated human and animal waste. So what happens is human excreta, animal excreta, if it directly goes into the water, then it causes disease. Okay, that there is a this uh, E. coli, that is called as E. coli. Human waste contain bacteria. Large amount of human waste in water increase the number of these bacteria which cause gastrointestinal disease. So all this uh, waste, not only human waste, animal waste also contains bacteria. And if it gets into water, no, this human waste, that is why water uh, sewage water pipelines are different and uh, uh, drinking water supply pipelines are different and they will be far away so that the water does not get mixed up. The next category water pollutants are oxygen depleting wastes. So please understand water has got oxygen around 3 to 4 percent of oxygen. And because of that oxygen, a lot of microorganisms are living and surviving in water. Like we are surviving on earth. Why we are surviving? Because we are breathing air and air contains oxygen. Okay. Similarly, water also contains oxygen. These are organic waste that are decomposed by aerobic bacteria. What happens if there is a, we sub, put the organic waste in the water, then the bacteria which require oxygen they are known as aerobic bacteria, they will decompose this waste. And in the process of decomposing the waste, okay, large populations of bacteria use up the oxygen present in the water to degrade this waste. I told you around 3 to 4 percent of water oxygen is there. But if the population of this bacteria increases, then they will take away all the uh, oxygen from the water and the oxygen in the water reduces. In the process, this degrades water quality. The amount of oxygen required to break down a certain amount of organic matter is called as a BOD. The amount of organic, the amount of oxygen required to break down a certain amount of organic matter is known as the biological oxygen demand. The, the amount of BOD in the water is an indicator of the level of pollution. So when water is there, especially the, we will find out the BOD that is called biological oxygen demand or even that is the amount of oxygen required to break down the organic matter or else there is one more term called as COD that is chemical oxygen demand also. So the BOD will tell you the indicator of pollution because if there is organic pollution then bacteria will take. So bacteria will take the oxygen that is how much oxygen is required that is found out through a term called as BOD. The third category of pollutants are inorganic plant nutrients. These are water soluble nitrates and phosphates that cause excessive growth of algae and other aquatic plants. See, please understand NPK. NPK means nit uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. These are the uh, fertilizers which we normally use. Okay, they get into water. Okay, and because they get into water, then uh, they cause lot of growth of algae and other aquatic plants. They may interfere with the quality use of water by clogging water intake pipes, changing the taste and odor of the water, and cause a, a buildup of organic matter. So. Excessive amount of nitrates and phosphates, phosphates, okay, can clog water pipes 
can change the taste and odors odor means smell of the water and cause build up of organic matters and the fourth category of water are soluble inorganic chemicals which are acids salts and compounds of toxic metal such, such as mercury and lead okay high levels of these chemicals can take up water unfit to drink harm fish and other aquatic life reduce crop yields and accelerate corrosion of equipment that use this water so if the uh, some industries they may uh, release like in you know, organic chemicals such as acids salts and uh, oxides of uh, toxic metals such as mercury and lead both mercury and lead are toxic okay and uh, they, they what will happen they make the water unfit to drink they will harm the fish as well as other aquatic life reduce the crop yields and accelerate corrosion of equipment so now let us look at the effect of water pollution the main problem caused by water pollution is that it kills organisms that depend on these water bodies okay so for example you take fish if we are in a pond there is fish and we leave lot of pollutants what will happen the fishes will die pollution disrupts the natural food chain as well so the food chain is we have seen in earlier discussion what is food chain so it, it this pollution disrupts the natural food chain pollutants such as lead and cadmium are eaten by tiny animals okay so you one you should understand that uh, this small small uh, chemicals like lead and cadmium are eaten by small animals later these are animals are consumed by fish and shellfish okay and the food chain continues to be disrupted at all higher levels so this this is the way you know this pollutants end up in big big fishes also and nowadays you might have heard that some fishes do contain some amount of pollutants ecosystems can be severely changed or destroyed by the water pollution ground water contamination from pesticide causes damage within wildlife in ecosystems sewage fertilizer and agriculture runoff contains organic matters that when discharged into water increase the growth of algae which causes the depletion of oxygen as we have discussed formation of algae due to this uh, nitri- uh, nitrates and phosphates will increase the in growth in algae and that reduces the oxygen because the oxygen is eaten away by the bacteria which decompose these things the low oxygen levels are not able to support most indigenous organisms in the area and therefore upset the natural ecological balance in rivers and lakes drinking contaminated water causes skin rashes and health problems like cancer typhoid fever stomach sickness in humans so we get problems like stomach problem typhoid fever cancer etc water pollution causes flooding due to accumulation of solid waste and soil erosion in streams and rivers it can even cause floodings we have seen recently oil spills in the water cause animals to die when they ingest or encountered so if oil spill is there then whatever this marine aquatic life is there they eat and they die oil does not dissolve in water so it causes suffocation in fishes and birds so if there is uh, suppose there is pond and there is water th- on the surface that the water will cover oil will cover under water because oil is lighter than water and so this all this fishes inside will get suffocated so now we'll look at the control measures of water pollution so the uh, the foremost uh, necessity for prevention uh, setting up of effluent treatment plants and treating waste through these can reduce the pollution load on the recipient water so there is something called etp effluent treatment plant or sewage treatment so you you can have the look uh, so this is one uh, uh, central etp it the two types of plant one is called etp the effluent treatment plant uh, used by industries and another is a stp that is sewage treatment plant used by the municipal bodies okay they both treat the water and uh, they neutralize the water they improve the oxygen level in the water okay by aeration and then they make it uh, uh, they, whatever damaging effects are there they will reduce and then release the water okay and mostly it is recycled for uh, uh, non potable uses like bathroom gardens and all so this is a figure of a etp that is effluent treatment plant so if you look at pollution no 
pollute water pollution it will not only go into the surface water what we are seeing now you can see the aquifer and wells here uh, so this will not only this pollutants will go into the uh, surface water but they will also go into the ground water you can see tubules uh, so this this uh, especially chemicals and all which are available because water moves from one place to another place and that is why uh, the effect of uh, transferring is more like in the case of air pollution see please understand whatever water we are having in the world 97.5% is salt water that is in oceans we can't drink that again ocean water contains around 4% of salt the fresh water is only 2.5% okay and in that uh, uh, water uh, this fresh 2.5% water 70% is locked in glaciers 30% in ground water only 0.3% is available in lakes and rivers so there is a fine balance so we are, we have seen the now etp uh, the treated effluent can be reused for either gardening or cooling purposes wherever possible so the treated water is not used for drinking but is used for other uses like gardens or cooling you uh, how how we can control we can use uh, environment friendly household products such as washing powder household cleaning liquid like toilet cleaning bathroom cleaning whatever these chemicals we are using we should now go for uh, like uh, environmental friendly eco friendly products you may say nowadays you are seeing products they write that uh, ozone friendly okay so you have to use uh, environment friendly basically and also excessive use of pesticides and fertilizers should be avoided nowadays a lot of awareness is going up for uh, organic uh, food you know organic uh, food not uh, this uh, uh, chemically where you use chemical pesticides and fertilizers so we should avoid we should use natural pesticides and natural fertilizers like cow dung manure and all and uh, please don't throw litter into the rivers you have seen lot of pollution plastic and all other things in the rivers oceans and uh, lakes and dispose it in the designated bin so whatever waste is there like you go to the beaches don't throw everything litter on the beach and come so there are bins are there dust bins you put in the dust bin and come so that it gets recycled or disposed properly and uh, suspended solid particles and organic inorganic materials can be removed by the use of filters so if there are uh, any suspended particles like i have seen in the sewage treatment plant when entire like bangalore city has seen huge water gets into that so there are bar screens are there so bar screens will filter all the plastic bottles cups chappal whatever this plastic rubber thing na it will remove that use of biological filters and processes can naturally uh, degrade the organic waste metal so as we have seen Uh, this organic uh, material in the water bodies like lake and all they uh, take a lot of oxygen uh, and that's the quality of water gets spoiled so instead of that you can use biological filters so that the degradation of water does not happen and they can degrade the organic waste material so these are the few measures so we should try to use the less number of chemicals whatever it is and do not throw this plastic and other material wrapping materials in the beaches in the cities only in the designated dustbins we should throw them okay thank you